They hunted him down, they murdered his friends, and they took the only thing he would kill for. If it's a mission no man can survive, he's the man for the job. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Commando. A D N. It's headphones, Dale! What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with a quick film review, and in this case it's going to be the Arnold Schwarzenegger film Commando. So it was recently on sale on Amazon Prime for Prime Day as far as the director's cut goes, so I decided I'd give it a buy and rewatch the film. I had a vague memory of his scenes that show up at the end with the guns and all of that, and I realized I hadn't seen the film in some time, and my memory of it was that um, it was an okay film. I didn't have anything really positive or negative as far as the overall film goes. So I got to thinking that I would rewatch it and see if it holds up, see if I like it, don't like it, and generally what I think about the film. And overall, I want to say that it was a good film as far as um, a father-daughter film goes. Um, think of it like a prequel of sorts to Taken, where Arnold Schwarzenegger's daughter in this film gets his daughter gets kidnapped by some guys who want him to do a job to overthrow a president that he that Schwarzenegger put into place with a more evil, bad version of the president that the bad guys want him to put into place. But because they messed with the wrong guy, instead of doing what the bad guys want, Arnold Schwarzenegger decides that he'll take matters into his own hand, go after those guys and take out the um, people who are causing his, him trouble to rescue his daughter. So overall I want to say that the film was entertaining, it was enjoyable, and you kind of see the base as far as a few other films that Schwarzenegger was in. So like a lot of the rescue scenes and like the latter half, maybe even the latter third of the film is a lot like True Lies. Um, the beginning of the film I want to say or maybe actually I want to say kind of the middle of the film is along the lines of maybe Predator and it's, that especially comes into play when you're looking at a couple some of the cast members so um, Cook is actually one of the team members in in or one of the guys in Commando or the character in Commando but he's also a character as far as I think in Predator but um, basically the, the whole team building idea in um, or talking about the team in Predator as far as some going bad and them taking out the rest is very reminiscent and you can see the baseline as far as um, kind of what you see in the acting level that you get in um, in Commando. So overall um, I want to say that it was like I said it wasn't or my memory kind of holds that it was not a good film or not a great film it was not a bad film it was good it was enjoyable and entertaining it had a good be beginning middle and end and it's and it serves more as a baseline to all the other films that Schwarzenegger was in that have a more hashed out storyline but you can kind of see how all of it holds into place and works well for his character and how various other films were more hashed out and better and had better stories and things like that as far as creating films that played up to Arnold's talents and as he got better in his acting and um, voice work that also made things better so um, like I said for the last third of the film if you want a better film go watch True Lies for this middle half middle third of the film if you want a better version go watch Predator for the beginning of the film um, it can really be any Arnold Schwarzenegger film um, probably the version or the thing that works the best is probably twins I want to say maybe um, any part of the of Terminator 2 I guess but the beginning of the film isn't really anything to phone home about it's basically all set up so you're not really you can really plug it into any part port of any Arnold Schwarzenegger film and it can kind of really work and then it goes sideways from there but the first part of the film is very Taken-esque with Liam Neeson so 
you're building up the relationship between Schwarzenegger and his daughter to ultimately have her kidnapped and use as a point the pivot point in the film for what our main protagonist of the film is going to do. So overall, if I was going to grade the film, um, I'd give it maybe about an 80%. It was, like I said, it was good, not great, not bad. The acting is decent enough. Uh, you can understand Arnold Schwarzenegger well enough. Um, on Rotten Tomatoes, it has a grade of 71% with the critics and 67% with the audience. So generally, positively favored, but not like I said, not a great film. And that's kind of what people, I guess, think of it. So um, that is kind of where I want to leave it. It was it's kind of a spur of the moment film that I decided to watch. And it kind of makes me want to actually go rewatch True Lies, um, just because I generally have positive memories of that film to now see how that holds up after all these years. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, uh, feedback, or thoughts of your own on this film or prior reviews, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. Um, you can find uh, past episode subscription links and um, all of that and supporting the show and all of that good stuff at headphonesmeal.reviews. But thanks for tuning into this particular review, and until next time.